Oh my gosh. Okay. So, something drastic financially just happened to me in regards to something that I own. It was taken care of, so it really isn't that big a deal, and it's not like... It was taken care of in a sense where might as well have acted like it didn't happen anyway. But I digress. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now, anybody who know owns has owned video game systems for long enough knows that some of them can be very, very easily hacked into. Accounts in them can be very easily hacked into. And today, earlier this morning, I found my one of my PlayStation accounts had gotten hacked into. However, I feel like the account that got I that had received this hacking had like it had no security to it, so that's my fault. Luckily, I was easily able to take care of it. Everything was retracted that I did not approve of. No financial issues in the long run. Um, and I was lucky enough to catch them earlier on. I received an email from Sony. For those who don't know, Sony's the owner of the PlayStation. Of the PlayStation, it's the company that owns it. Uh, for those of you who do know, know that, are probably going, duh. Continue. Anyway, I digress. Um, I was able to get a hold a hold of Sony, and what we decided to do was retract all payments, return them to what once. Hence they, whence, whence they were, I think is the phrase. You guys get my point. I was able to take care of that and concluded with the company to just completely remove the account and make a new one, which is exactly what I did. However, luckily, this does not affect the content that I was doing on the system. That was done on a completely well more guarded account. I was very lucky to find out when I did. Nothing bad had happened. I had, but by the time I had figured out what was going on, um, just as a kind of duplicate safeguard, I did end up making sure that any possible way for the person who could, who did try to hack into it, had no way of using the account at all, even if they were able to hack into this same type of account again. No way of taking off any charges, no way of doing anything that would be against me. So whoever did that, good luck to you, fella. Um, I don't know, this is something that bugs me. This was an example of something that bothers me over time. Accounts have had problems of being hacked, and it's not just PlayStation ones. That's the most, I guess I should be more accurate, that is the most recent. Well, duh, I said it was today, duh. By the time you guys see this, it's not today. It's not when you guys see this today. It was quite a ways in the past by the time you guys see this. But it gives me the idea that the fact that people out there think it's a good idea to steal another individual's account just because you don't want to pay your own money to be able to play games, watch movies, watch TV shows, do whatever because you're so freaking lazy is horrible. To put it this way, when I first got my Xbox One, which is what I do my Let's Plays of Final Fantasy XIII, that's what I use for that, I actually shared this system with one of my roommates, who was in the previous apartment before this one. Said roommate and I agreed that when one of us moves out, I would delete, I actually told them that for their own safety, I will delete their account. And I did. Somehow, the games are still attached. Maybe I did something wrong, which I'll figure it out later. I do want to figure that out because I don't want to be disrespectful on that. But that's what should be done. Respect 
someone's account. And it's not just gaming systems either. Google, Yahoo, both of those have had issues with this in the past. Several times. Maybe other accounts like AOL have. I don't know. Or many others. I have no idea. But I can guarantee those two have had these problems. Because those two are like the most noted ones that I know of at least. But I digress again. This is becoming a major problem in my mind, especially for nowadays, where people just think it's okay. They're not going to get caught. Nothing bad's going to happen. But quite frankly, why? What does it gain someone to hack into someone else's account? Well, what do you get out of it? The satisfaction that now you don't have to afford something? Well, like the PlayStation thing, what the end result did, everything, everything that I had originally owned has been transferred to another account that I own. At least the things that I use. And completely blocked off the account that I used to own. And all the content that was bought off of it? Doesn't matter. Because what the agreement was within a about, I think it's like 40 hour time, 48 hour time period, that account is going to be closed, leaving the person who tried to hack into it with nothing. Absolutely nothing. And the issue with this is, the issue with this whole situation, and the reason, it's, it's, Google accounts have a tendency to have this a lot, more than Yahoo. What is the point? Now, I know some people will probably be going, oh, this is the point. I'm not asking you to get an actual answer. This is a rhetorical question. But my thought process is, if you're going to hack into someone's, like, for example, email, hacking into anything, Emails are the worst. If you're going to hack into someone's email, what are you going to get out of it? Seeing private information? Or if it's the right email, you might just end up seeing, all you'll end up seeing are things that are useless. Pointless mean nothing. That is actually why I personally have several emails. That way, if somebody tries to do that, you won't find anything you'll find, oh, hey, someone has subscribed to your YouTube channel on this one and the Beer Belly Bob's email, which, if you find this video at the right time, that email does not exist anymore because, as of this recording, a couple of days, I'm going to be taking the channel down. Beer Belly Bob channel down, but those skits are still going to show up on here. So don't get too distraught if that's what you came to this channel for. But I digress. I need to get back to these original topics and stay on it. I'm really bad at that. Hacking does no benefits. Maybe at first it might seem like it, but it's kind of like doing a bad deed. At first it might seem like a good idea, it may benefit you at first, but in the long run, you end up with probably some of the worst results ever. And yes, I'm melodramatically saying this, I'm aware. It's true. What would the point of, like, I still sometimes, I share accounts, I share system accounts with Amber, because I trust her. If she were to get into my account, she knows the passwords and everything. I'm letting her, excuse me, and she does the same for me. For her own safety, I'm probably not going to do this again. Because she has her own PlayStation to watch her stuff on. Like, I have my Xbox 4, for the most part. And I have my PlayStation to do my Let's Plays or random gaming on. But, if we did share the same console, you can bet your bottom dollar. Fiance, wife, f best friend, whatever it might be, we would not do these stupid actions. Emails. We, we share... A specific email account. We allow each other to look at each other's emails and stuff like that, but we do not disrespect that. 
Hacking is disrespecting. And to do something like this, hacking any kind of account is hacking someone's email. And to hack someone's email, let's just put it this way. If I had ever found out who, because if someone were to hack one of my emails and I had found out who, they'd regret it within seconds. Not particularly because I'd like violently attack them or anything, but my responses, my negative responses to being attacked in that sense, let's just say you don't want to see the outcome. Good example, kind of good quick example, there was a point, and anybody who's been on my channel long enough, there's a point where you could usually see like, right here you'd see the edge of a keyboard. Something like this at a point, it was an email at the time, made me so angry that and it's not the the last keyboard you saw here. It was the one before that. Maybe you guys didn't notice. But I slammed my fist down so hard on the edge of it that right here started to bleed and that edge of the keyboard broke. Now this isn't the last keyboard I had. It was, it was the one before that. The last one broke for a different reason, which I'll get to that in a different video because that has nothing to do with this. Anyway, hackers out there, stop. You get no benefit off of this because in the long run, you get a negative result. Scammers get the same thing. But some of them, like the recent PlayStation 5 ones, at least they're not overly extensive on it. Those ones can get away with it because of that aspect. And reselling isn't quite the same as selling and claiming it as your own. That's piracy. That's different. Scammers aren't exactly pirating the product, so they're technically not doing anything illegal. It's still bad and horrible, but it's the same concept regardless. It's not good and beneficial to almost anybody on a moral standpoint. Scammers can get away with it, as I said before, but those who hack, you get no benefits if you ever do it. In fact, the person who hacked the last email that I did get hacked on mine, which this was a long time ago, story for another day, they ended up in prison. Let's just leave it at that. They are probably still there now. Not a good idea. Not beneficial in any kind of way. Maybe at first to the hacker, but in the long run, no. So, anybody out there who's watching this video, if you're hacking other people's accounts, or trying to break into other people's firewalls, or blah blah blah, stop. No good comes out of this kind of doing. Now, this is basically a video of me venting, I guess, but I am going to leave this video here. For those of you who stuck around for the past 13 minutes, thank you. Um, but don't worry, as I already said, because of the other account that I have, uh, and the way things went down, I will still be doing all the videos that I was doing. Thank heavens for memory cards in the newer systems that we have nowadays. If you got hacked into like a PS2, original Xbox, or a GameCube back in the day, this would not, it would not be the same story. Either way though, yeah. Kind of happy about that. But thanks again for watching this video, guys. If you liked this, or you agreed with anything that I had to say, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you have not yet, please consider subscribing to the channel, because I do rants like this, I discuss things, or I talk about, like, lifetime stuff all the time. So definitely check those out by clicking on this links on the side of my head, or the channel link down below, whether it's under my face, partially on, probably, or in the description below. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'm going to head off, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.